Evie. What's Not up? Not much. I saw your latest video. Oh yeah. Those videos, yeah. On the Twitter, we have like a lot of views. I didn't check, but it was like a hundred something view for just like small clip of the whole video. And then I play with the people XXD. I cannot believe you play with him. Why you didn't call me? Well, you were busy at that time, bro. I didn't want to bother you with those issues, so I know she was a great invitation and he allowed me to record. That would be a great memory. Yep, it will be a great memory. You already forgot, right? Yes, I already forgot. Anyway, today we're going to play something special for Is the viewers. Is it Jenny? Trilogy? Oh, you're going to see. Now, I know for a fact that you are playing Ace yes. Attorney, because when I was out, uh, I noticed that you guys buy the Ace Attorney Trilogy. However, in my case, I already knows the whole game like the three videos of those so to change that i decide to play one game that i couldn't get on my nintendo really? 2ds because first of all i don't have enough space there or okay. memory and second of all i wanted to play more like the professor layton versus That's ace attorney game. but now i'm going to play this one i hope you like it guys let's go to it Woo! right now What the heck is going on there? Whoa, whoa! What the hell? This is just a core, like, I never thought that the criminal would go that far to do that. Oh, dang it, look at that. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't like to be there. Dark times where the law has been reduced to rubble, and it's up to us to restore it to its former glory. Yeah, I know what you mean. It looks like your target finally decided to make a move. Yep, apparently, that criminal probably go away. Don't you worry, I've got a trusty new partner on board. Oh. Let's see, who is this one? It's so technologic. Oh my god, look at that! Sweet girl! Damn! She really looks beautiful there. Too bad that she's a cartoon. She's been with us for half a year. So I can hardly believe it. Half a year? So, she's just a newbie, huh? Well, I wonder what's her power. Uh, uh oh. Yep. Nothing like first impression. Yeah. It's for this very reason I returned. Time to bring it to an end. Glad to have you back, Phoenix. I also played the other Ace Attorney, so I know what happened to you, and I know who is she. So, yeah. I'm glad that you're back, Phoenix, to our side, to Justice side, one more time. And it's glad for me to go back, especially after the T-Boss uh, invited me to play with him. I feel so inspired to play this now, with more excitement now. We're ready. Oh, look at him. He's so tough now. He's so ready for this! Huh. Who is that? Is that like the criminal? Or oh wait, that's a power justice! What happened to him? Oh dang it! He seems so serious! I mean, I know him very well. Uh, I don't know why he looks so serious. He's not that serious. I mean, he is serious, but not that serious either. The first case turned about countdown. Um, probably it's about the bomb. 
that happen. So I'm pretty sure you're wondering what's going on. Oh wait, 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 wait. Hey, hey, hey. The best thing about bomb is how they erase and destroy without discretion. Oh, so it was you, you piece of trash. Now all I have to do is pin everything on that little girl. I'm so evil. I smell evil. Yep, smell evil. December 17, 9 22 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby number 5. But first, with the music of Mario Bros. Superstar. I will narrate you a small, like a small summary of the other games and explain you what's going on and why Phoenix Wright said he returned. So everything started with Apollo Justice, a new lawyer who is ready to take cases. It's Mr. It's Chris Tuff, and Mr. Phoenix Wright is now just a hobo with no job. That's right, hobo. He used to be a lawyer, but then he's been incriminated for presenting fraud evidence. So now he's no longer an attorney, but he is. And he's taking cases. He's like fighting and going through all of the crimes, one by one, like Phoenix Wright. Using balls of soup to find testimony, and also questioning Phoenix Wright and save him, like so many times. There is like a lot of times that Phoenix Wright is going to jail, and you need to save him. Alright Phoenix, what happened to you? There is a little girl who helped Phoenix to lose his job, presenting false evidence. Because thanks to that little girl, he presents, Hi, I'm the attorney, I'm evil, and I ruined your life. Yeah, that's him. You ruined my life. Now I'm chef. Oh no, Phoenix Wright has trapped me. And Apollo betrayed me. So long, Justice. I don't need you anymore. So you suck. And you're gay. That's right. It's me, Penny Fry. I've been accused again. You better save me. Oh, I have a good eye. And I find a contradiction with my eye. Hey, do you like to play poker with me? No, because I'm in jail and I'm evil. And I have black locks that match my color of my soul. Oh, no. You discover me. I'm... Evil again, more evil than ever. Ah, yeah, that is it. That's the whole story. Oh, Apollo. Oh, Apollo. Hey, don't copy me. Yeah, doing great. Like, human little team gray. Oh, yeah. Well, that's good to hear. Although, I could swear I hear your voice crap for a second there. Oof. I'm that transparent? Huh. Cracking. No, no, my voice isn't cracking. Nerves of steel here, I tell you. This is Apollo Justice. You already know his power because I already explained you. He's a fellow lawyer at the office I work for. Apollo is the lead for the defense on this case. But I'm going to be at the bench with him. Doing what I can to help out. I'll do whatever it takes to defend Junie. Who is Junie? Speaking of still, how are you holding up? The explosion really did a number on you. Oh, wait, so the victim was Apollo? Oh my god, that will explain the whole bandages. I'm just happy that you're okay, Athena. Uh, right here, they forgot to like stretch a little bit the uh, bandage. But, who am I to critique the word of someone? I cannot even make a game or draw anything. That's why I'm gonna see to it that Juniper's name is clear. And I'm sure you feel much the same way. You got that right. I won't resist until June is completely clear of all suspicion. Yep, let's work together. It's been such a long time, guys, since I played Ace Attorney. As I said before, I only play. The three of Phoenix Rye, then Apollo Justice, and Miles Edgeworth. So, this is a game I couldn't get my hands on. But then I, after I played with the Peabot, and showed my whole courage, I said to myself, Oh, hell, I need to get this game now. I'm more proactive now to be more assertive to get this. Hey. Oh, don't worry, Jim. Okay, 
I will pretend uh, that you just smell in flower. Don't worry, I know what it is. Wait, wait. Sorry about that. I always seem to go into coughing fits whenever I get nervous. Yeah, sure. When you get nervous, you smell flower. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, don't worry. I got you. This kind of thing never happened. Cough. At home in the forest. Oh, oh. This is Juniper Woods. Oh, wow. What a coincidence. She lives in the forest and her last name is Woods. Oh, wow. She's my dear, dear childhood friend. And she's also our client for this case. Hi, Athena. You have really messed up friend now. She's been allegated as a bomb Oh, man. That is a serious crime. I brought you a little snack, Tina. Just a little something for my garden. Oh, really? Oh, nice! Sweet! After the onion I ate in my couple videos, I would really love some oranges, something sweet. It's an orange. My grandma said, the orange is the color of strength and endurance. Oh, I get it. It's strange for the child, right? Juni, you're always so good to me. Yes, look at me. Standing here, touching an orange to my chest with tears in my eyes. Well, don't you worry. We'll be so powerful in there. They won't know what hit them, right, Apollo? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're going to play with Tina and Apollo. So that's going to be useful because Apollo has the special power. You already know. I already explained it. So, what made this one trial we just can't lose? Wait, what the? Oh! Apollo! Are you okay? Apollo! Yeah, don't copy me. Apollo! Ugh! A blood is seeping through his bandages. One of his wounds must reopen. Oh no! All this time he was trying to pull on a brave face, but he was really overdoing it. Oh no, Apollo! You really are tired, Mr. Justice? Huh? The trial is about to start, sir. Please proceed to the courtroom. What? Paul is in no state to defend. Uh, uh, uh. I have to. I have to defend Juniper. To do. The trial is about to start. With or without us. Ay, Apollo, no te cansas de cagarla. There is only one other option. I can think at a time like this. Call him now. He never get here in time. Phoenix right, of course. Call him! No way. There is something else I can do. But, Apollo, give me all the evidence for the case. Huh? What are you going to do? Bailey. Yes, miss? The defense would like to submit a substitution of attorney petition. Tina? You're not seriously. You just concentrate on getting better. I'll defend Juni. All by yourself, Athena, stop for a sec and think about what you're saying. Yeah, I'm actually agreeing with Apollo. You're just barely a rookie. I mean, I know Phoenix Rise Star is a rookie, but it's because we helped him. And I don't play, I didn't play this game at all. I have a lot of disadvantage here, Tina. You've never once taken a case on on alone before, right? No problema. I can handle it, I think. But I guess it's really up to Juni. Would you be okay with me taking over? Um, sure. Hey, why do you take so much to answer? You don't trust your best friend? I believe in you, Tina, and that's enough for me. Well, you surely took your time to answer us. Come on, Apollo, you're not in any shape to help, so I guess we'll try our best to not lose this case. You're worried for me, aren't you? To be honest, I'm pretty nervous too. I think my heart might just burst out of my chest. But you're in no shape to stand at the bench now. So you just have to leave it to me. 
All right. I can see your mind made up anyway. I hate it that can be. I can't be there. But I know you'll give your utmost to defend Juniper. You bet. I will rest assured of that. Oh, you bet. I will. Rest assured of that. Sorry, guys. I'm so excited to play this game. My name is Athena Sykes. Sykes? <laughs> oh, wow. I'm still just a newbie. Uh, I know it. But I'm a lawyer. This is only the second time I've taken the lead. Okay, no problem. It'll be the first time I stand there alone, though. But I have to do this. I definitely will win. Okay, guys, we'll have to try our best here. Or Juniper. That, or maybe we should start thinking for another career, guys. Oh, look at the graphy. Looks so much cooler. Of course, I'm more like an old school guy, so. Core is now in session for the trial of Juniper Woods. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is also ready, Your Honor. Oh, -ho. and what is the meaning of this? I was under the impression that Mr. Red Monkey would be my opponent today. Yes, well, a substitution of attorney petition was submitted just a few moments ago. Due to the explosion in the courthouse yesterday, Mr. Justice is unable to continue. I see, I see. No, I don't surprise he used that as an excuse to run away. With me as an adversary. Who will want to feign illness in order to escape? What? The nerve of that guy. I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. Well, I would if I wasn't so nervous. Ah! This arrogant jerk! You arrogant jerk! No! Widget! Is my hearing getting worse? I could swear I heard the defense say something just now. No, you didn't hear anything at all, especially not from me. Hmm, how old? I could have sworn I also heard something. Uh, that would be my indispensable partner widget. He sometimes blow out what I'm thinking. <laughs> well then, if that's the case, then there is a clear contradiction to what you just stated. A contradiction? You just stated that you said nothing. However, if that device of yours say what you're thinking, then you indeed say I was, what was that? Elegance at work? Yep, actually it was arrogant jerk. But anyway, what does it matter if it's a red monkey or a yellow monkey facing me? No for sure low school rookie can defend this weakness. Mr. Payne? I believe that's enough. Wait, that's Mr. Payne? He looks so different and young, actually. A little bit younger, or maybe he got like a wig. Let us get back to the statement. Of course, Your Honor. I'm more than ready to show this little girl why they call me the Rookie Humiliator. Yep. Wait, what? Aren't you supposed the Rookie Killer? I knew it. He really is an arrogant jerk. Arrogant jerk! Miss Sykes, if you continue to insult the prosecution, I will remove you from this court! Oop, I'm very sorry. It was just a knee jerk reaction. Now then, Mr. Payne? If you please? Thank you, Your Honor. Now then. Here at this very courthouse in courtroom number four. At that time, the trial for certain bombing was being held in the courtroom number four. Oh, yes, I was proceeding over that trial as well. 
and Mr. Justice was there as the lawyer for the defense. A bomb that was being presented as the evidence suddenly went off during the trial. It was a terrible incident on cover number 4. It was completely destroyed. Fortunately, fortunately, we were able to start evacuation procedures before the explosion occurred. Just a few seconds more and it would be turned into a horrific loss of human life. But there was in fact one dead, was there not? That is correct, Your Honor. When the code number 4 was examined after the blast. Oh, crap! The body of Detective Candace's arm was discovered. Oh, well, some guy wasn't gone, too. She was to take the stand as a witness later in the trial. I suppose she wasn't able to evacuate in time. What a terrible tragedy. I must admit, I stumbled at least 10 times myself before I was able to escape. Maybe the court should see to getting you even shorter ropes. The victim's body was found near the entrance to the courtroom. I suspect she stayed until the very end to help guide the others out safely. Hey, wait a minute. So, she was the last one? That doesn't have any sense. I need to remember that. We need to remember that, guys. What the? Stuff animal bomb? Ah, that's uh, actually a peculiar... Uh, weapon. Okay, I know this word. All evidence for the trial is found on the call record. Yeah, I still remember that part. When I want to check something, just stop the call record panel in the upper right. Okay. I better take a peek later. Now then, please call the accused to the witness stand. Cut. Oh, come on. Man, are you feeling alright? You're looking a bit pale. I'm so sorry. See, when I first arrived here at the courthouse, <laughs> God, I'm to smell. You know what? So, stop it. You're going to get yourself more guilty than ever. But I'm, I'm all right. For all, I better make sure I do s the same. Oh, oh. If we could please proceed, your name and occupation, defendant. Juniper Wood, I'm a high school student. Miss Wood, can you confirm you were in the courthouse on the day in question? Yes, I came to know Apollo Justice through my friend Tina. Cough. And so, I was there yesterday to watch his trial and lend my support. Oh, don't cry, girl. Something's wrong. Juni. Really scared. <laughs> Do you know I'm also known as the Defendant Humiliator? It looks like I have yet another chance to show everyone how I earned that moniker. What? Girl, does he arrogance no, no bounds? I have to protect Jenny, no matter what. Hey, you arrogant, uh, prosecutor Payne. Hey, what is it? Do you want me to demonstrate why I'm known as the rookie humiliator instead? Deep breath, Tina. Don't let him get to you. That's right, Tina. Don't let him get to your skin. Otherwise, we will lose. Athena, make sure to know... Screw this up. No que cagarla aquí, Athena. He was. My grandma says Lotus Root is good for your eyes. 
She says they can even help you see into the future. They can? Then that's the perfect person for a lawyer. And if that's true, I guess he must not have eaten them. Hmm, a sheep, meek girl like this, blowing a cold room to bits? I must say, it's very hard to believe. Oh, wow. Now, now, Urano. Don't let her seemingly innocent appearance fool you. The defender has a motive for committing this crime. Sorry, I break out of character. That's not true. I don't have any kind of motive. And I didn't even know the lady who was killed. I don't need the investigation didn't turn up any connection between the victim and the defendant. However, that doesn't matter. The only thing that does is that her objective was the destruction of code room number 4 itself! Ah, oh, come on guy, you're not gonna believe that, right? A high school student! So a high school student managed to get a bomb! Yeah, that is just believable! Huh? Oh, so you want to test me? Okay! Okay! Okay, you piece of trash, test me. I can answer you all of the questions that you asked me. And did they experience for what? Oh, nice. That boy sounds cool too. Objection, nice. This is so awesome, guys. Like, the graphics, the sounds. The characters, everything has been improved. I hope there, are more, there is more games of this, of the Ace Attorney. So Capcom, if you're seeing this, please make more games of the Ace Attorney franchise, please. Decide it, huh? I believe it when I see it. It involves a very unique aspect of the poem itself, your honor. And what exactly was so unique about it? Why do we have me sex answer that question? Huh? Me? Hmm, I noticed that you appear to be very nervous, and well, a gentleman that I am, I'd like to offer you the chance to gain some confidence with such an easy question. Could he be any more condescending? Really? What truly unpleasant man? Is for loser. <laughs> what did you just say? Nothing. 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 Now let's see. What was I supposed to do at the time like this? Oh, I know. The call record. The information I need is somewhere in the call record. All right, Miss Psych. Let's hear your answer. What was the unique about the bone that blew in the call room? Was it because it was a full briefcase, a just pocket? The time room that destroyed the colon, it was hidden inside a stuffed animal. Oh wow, that was actually pretty smart to hide something like that in the inside a stuffed animal. Mr. Payne, what kind of simple thing do you take me for? It was the stuff inside the stuffed animal. Its evil intention covered up by a cute exterior. Ho <laughs> ho, very good, have a cookie! The bone that went off in the cauldron was indeed hiding inside the stuffed animal. There, how do you like that? Not bad, huh? I'm fine, just like I said from the start. I can do this. Yes, as so I recall, the bone was stuffed inside a stuffed animal the whole time. I never even got to take a look at it. But what connection does this impish elephant have with the defendant? The answer to that question lies in another piece of evidence, which I have here. Wait, what? What the hell is that? It's a toy, you know? The tale of a poor victim of the explosion. Tell? <laughs> uh, 
Ah, oh, your honor. Don't be so clueless. It's the stuffed animal. People don't have tail. Thing. Yeah, we don't have tails. He is the mascot for a campaign to eliminate false evidence and false charges, is he not? Exactly, his motto is funny evidence is just trunk up. What? Trunk up? Oh wow. That's so wrong on so many levels. The funny fanty is tells it's made of vinyl clothes and we found something very interesting on its surface. The defendant. Oh shit! What? Oh, this is bad, guys. How? That that's impossible. How did she even have the fingerprint there? Oh my god! I uh. Oop. Oh. <laughs> this is what happened when you make. Your hair balls, so don't don't you ever do that, Jennifer. Okay, so this is bad. But it's okay. We were in worse situation before, so So there is no problem for that. Funny fan fan detail added to the call. Oh yeah, right here. Oh dang it. This is bad guys. I wasn't counting on this, like this is like, took me by surprise. Oh no. I don't understand. 3, 2, 1. Oh, I, I wanted to say again the hitting on her. The hair. How about you, Miss Sight? Do you have any plausible explanation to refute the decisive piece of evidence? Well, uh, uh, I can't do it. I can't think of a single thing. Yeah, me neither, actually. Okay, let's stop for a second and think. Oh. If you can produce an answer, we could always go straight to the ruling if you prefer. Ah, no, I have to say something fast. Oh no, I can get my voice to work. Why now? Of all times. What, what, what's going on? Oh wait, what was that? I thought I overcame this already. Maybe I'm still not ready to stand in court. What happened, Tina? You you got caught. What happened? Oh. Oh my God. Damn. This is awful. What's going on here? Oh, what's up with their faces? As you can see, there is no room for debate. Oh, look at his voice. Objection. Huh? I I recognize that voice, guys. Why, it's you. Yeah, that's right. It's him. The spiky head dude. The top dog in court. Thanks, Rai! Ace Attorney is here, and we are here with him now. So it took me so long to get here, Athena. Apollo explained me the whole thing to me over the phone. He asked me to come help you out in this place. Thanks for coming. I hate to admit it, but I was having a real rough time on my own. Oh, I don't know. I think you were doing just fine. All things considered. And you hang in there, giving me enough time to get here. Now let's turn the thing around. You got it, boss. Ho oh, ho oh, oh. Look who show up out of the blue. Uh, <laughs> nice one, Joe. Nice one. If it isn't Mr. Phoenix Rye, you always manage to surprise me. Oh yeah, look at him. So tough. So powerful. It's been such a long time. Phoenix, since you and me play together, now let's work together to save Jenny. How did Miss Will's fingerprint wind out on the stuffed animal tail? 
How was the bone even detonated? Until this question or answer, I just said that it's impossible for a fair ruling to be made. Hmm, you're absolutely right. Of course we're right. We're finished right after all. Oh, so you want to fight, huh? Oh. Oh. Gosh, she's getting worse. Miss Wood really looks like she's having a hard time. Juni is really struggling, Mr. Wright. I get the sense she's afraid of the courtroom itself. Because of yesterday. Yeah, it was understandable, very traumatic for her. Poor thing. Here she is, back at the courthouse again, being so brave. I'd like to make a request, Your Honor. If all possible, I'd like to have Miss Wood rest in the lobby. Given the defendant's condition, very well. I'll grant special permission. You go and get some rest, Junie, and leave the rest to us. Okay, thank you. Oh, you don't have to thank us, Junie. So you, you've been looking forward to defeat us, huh? Well, guess what? We're going to fight with all we got. How do you do? What do you mean by that? That's been pain? You know the same pain that we've been battling, right? What? You have to be joking, me. Eh? And long-standing rival? As far as I know, he wasn't even that important on the game. Uh, look like this royal pain is going to be as truly unpleasant as the other. A decisive witness, huh? Although I think I have a big hunch of who is going to be. Anyway, wait. I know it. I called it. I called it. Usually on the first level, you will always have the bad guys testifying. What are you doing, dude? This is not time to play Nintendo. Head tornado. Oh. Now that's lazy writing. Bomb disposal specialist. Yeah, I agree with that. What's up with the robot boys? If you want me to do a robot boys, just go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment. And I will do it, I promise. I will do a robot boys for you. I can. Wait, you can and you're using the robot boys? Dude. You're just very lazy, or well done, or you're very handy on your job. Yeah, I agree, this is the weirdest weirdness I ever have. Well, not so weird like the witness who is still panties. Shot, huh? Wait, you were the first one on the scene, huh? We gotta make a mental note about it, guys. Hmm. Oh, what the heck? Don't look at me with those eyes, dude. If you see my eyes going back and forward, my computer is in that way now. But the microphone is here. And all the stuff, so... Oh, the music of the... Of the testifying now is even better now. That's nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This guy! <laughs> it looked like a... Demon with those eyes coming, popping up, like, literally, dude. Those goggles, 
Oh my god! Hey! Ahem. I now like to begin my cross examination. Huh? What the heck? Where did that come from? Where did you <laughs> pick it up from? HH3000, aka a bomb. Wait, what? Mr. Tomato, I demand that you dissolve this instant! Oh wow, holy crap! Do you see that? 5.3 seconds? Here, 2 seconds show of my personal best. Are you trying to give me a heart attack? I'm not exactly a spring chicken, you know? Wait, it's just a toy? Oh my god, this is a toy. Oh, you're an asshole, dude. You're an asshole. You, you're an asshole. <laughs> Hmm. Interesting. We better keep a mental note of that too. Thanks for the update. Hmm. Okay, so now what we need to focus here is to prove the genie never have the bond. So this is going to be very hard, guys. Hey, come back here! Don't be a coward, Athena. You can come out now. Okay, Mister Right, let's get to work. Okay, so let's go for it. Let's not waste any time. Cross examination. The bomb was originally disarmed by me, then transported here as evidence. Okay. Bomb name is H3000, operated by timer or with a remote. Okay. Let's hold that. Hold it in Spanish will be un momento. Okay. So three, two, one. Un momento. What was the approximate size and weight of the bomb? Dimension 10, oh, inch times, oh, okay, so it's like a cube, in other words. Ah, yes, here it is, on the back. According to this, the case is made up of a low 20, 5, 16, inch stick. Okay, okay, nice. So, in other words, I just waste time here. Just the usual me. Okay. Very well, I believe the court has heard enough about the bomb itself. Mr. Tomato, you were keeping an eye on the bomb, were you? I saw the bomb timer was counting down. Hey, wait, 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 wait. stop, stop, hold your forces right there. You saw the bomb timer counting down. You know? It's kind of funny, let me see something. It was hidden inside a stuff animal. Okay, so for all of you who wants to learn Spanish, objection in Spanish is objeción. So all of us in Spanish, three, two, one, and objeción. So you say you saw the bomb come down in that, is that right? Of course, I clearly saw it counting down to zero. Haha. <laughs> I clearly lying. What are you talking about? There is no way you could have seen the bone timer. After all, the bone was concealed inside a stuff animal. <laughs> Mr. Tomato! How can you claim to know the bomb was about to go off? When you couldn't even see the timer! <gasps> the best of the, 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 the... What? No! That does seem like a great inconsistency indeed! Witness? 
How did you explain this? Uh, well, I... I... Haha! <laughs> Having trouble to speak or typing, dude? Don't worry, you can go back to school. Always remember, Tina. When you find an inconsistency in the witness testimony, there is always a reason behind it. It could be a lie, a hiding meaning, a secret, whatever it is, it's up to us to dig it out. I'm pointing out every contradiction we find is the best way to do it, right boss? Oh hell yeah, now the question is, what can we dig out of Mr. Tornado? Well, let me see, I, uh... No, 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 there must be some mistake. Oh yes, yes of course, I remember now. <laughs> okay, what are you going to say? The sound, I knew because of the sound. Well, in that case, you must have powerful ear, dude. When the timer of the, this type of bone is switched on, it beeps softly. Beep, beep, beep. It is the sound of the bone counting down. A beeping noise, you say? I suppose it would be possible to notice that, even with the bone inside the stuffed animal. I simply make a mistake. My bad. Oh, come on. Objection! How in the world did you hear such a tiny little sound all the way from the gallery? Listening for the sound of the bone timer is an integral part of my work. I constantly undergo training so that I will never miss it. Hmm. I hardly think training would help you hear something so soft from far away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh wait, why am I getting scared? That's a toy. Are you making light of the fine science of this army bomb? It is a solemn mission that I put my life on the line to perform. What kind of a specialist would I be if I could not hear a bomb timer? Dude, seriously, that's some math skills there. Now he's just showing off. Yeah, I agree with that. Dang, dude. Ah, this guy. And you're just overflowing with the attractive qualities, are you? Ah, we don't have. Well, no, but it still seems totally suspect. Dang it! We need to think, guys. There is no way he couldn't hear it, but we don't have evidence for that. Sorry, <laughs> excuse me. Oh crap. It happened before the trial started. It was when Detective R and I were transporting the bomb. We brought the bomb to the lobby for the defense. Bomb equals evidence. The lawyer wanted to see it before the start of the trial. Looking for a chance to get at the bomb, Miss Wood was already there in the lobby. Her goal was surely to rearm the bomb and steal the remote switch. Well, that's a good fabrication, dude. Yes, the switch that controls the bomb remotely, duh. It has been missing ever since the incident. So, it was missing. That is interesting. Okay, we need to keep another mental note. If you cannot keep a mental note, you can just write it down. But we need to keep that. The secret of this game is to always have mental notes or a note with you. Especially with those kind of assholes right there. Objection! How can you assert so uncute? <laughs> Sorry, my English is not that good. I'm kind of rusty. But still, how does she even rearm the bomb? Oh, don't object me, you son of a gun. The bomb was safely secured in the transporter case. The only time it was outside of the case was in the lobby. Oh crap, that's not good. 
Someone other than Mr. Tonello could have opened the case and take the bomb out. Impossible, the transport case is assigned exclusively to me. Do you see this number here? That is my identification number. And I have the only key that can open the case. So, you still have the key, huh? Nevertheless, Mr. Payne's assertion is nothing more than conjecture. You have no proof that it was Miss Wood who stole the remote switch. And by the same token, you have no proof that it wasn't her. Ah, oh, you're using my own argument against me, huh? 5 minutes, 24 seconds. 2 points, 3... 36 seconds? What? Hunter Schlaster, a mere 5 minutes. Ugh, talk about Rottenham. As long as they have her fingerprint as the time card, I'm in a big disadvantage. Hmm. It appears we will have to hear from the defender herself once more. Uh oh. So the poor little girl has to stand again? She was coughing all day. I'm worried about her condition, but we do need her testimony. On the other hand, I'm not sure I want to make a Tina map. I can read your feelings, you know, boss. What? I guess there is no hiding from her, huh? Don't worry, I know we need her testimony. But if anybody picks on her again, they'll pay. Guess she's already an under level 1. That's good, right? Don't worry, I'll start the, pass, the proceeding before I let anything bad happen to her. Okay. The defense has no objection, your honor. In that case, I'll take my leave. But before I do, there is just one more thing. Mr. Rai, is it? Uh, yeah. Dismantling bomb is my job. Dismantling the case is yours. Do you think you can handle it? I look forward to seeing you try. Oh, you're a piece of trash, dude. I know you did it. And I will make sure to bring you back, you son of a gun. You hear me? I'll bring you back. A few moments later. I will fight and help them and rescue them from that sea of darkness. So there is no way I'll let you win, you piece of trash. Well, that day, cough. I was watching from the gallery. Cough, cough. The ball went off. Cough. Cough and rubber start falling. I fell on top of me. Cough, cough. Uh, well, uh, I mean, I can hold it so we can get more information, but the coughing is blocking uh, all that he needs to say. Hey, wait a minute. Even if she can vocalize what she wants to say, we can listen to what inside her heart. Yes, now is the perfect time to use Athena's power. Oh, okay, so what's her power? Because we know the power of Athena's eye. Phoenix can find secrets, so what's the power of Athena? She's so scared, I think she could collapse at any second. Athena has a unique ability, you see. With her finely tuned sense of hearing, she can hear the word of a witness heart, so you can read emotion? That is so cool. That is so cool. Let's go up here and use that to win this case and bring the robot guy back here. Okay, let's go up here and try. I mean, I never tried her power because um, she was new. I don't think she has her own game yet. Although, if she has her own game, that would be awesome. Okay, so we're using the small computer there. Like, that's a nice technology. We should have it already here in 2020. The emotion and images that I pick up on just now while listening to her testimony. I can enter all of that into widget and use the mood matrix to analyze them. Okay, let's see it. 10 seconds later 
Well, that the cough. Okay, no reaction here. Okay, that's good. I was watching from the gallery. Cough, cough. Okay, nothing. The ball went off. Okay, she's, of course, she's impressed. Okay, we know that. Cough. And Bravo start falling. Okay. I fell on top of me. Cough, cough. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Stop right there. Why are you happy? Are you happy that you're going to die? Te tengo! Got it in Spanish is Te tengo. Widget is registering Jay when Miss Wood recalls the robot for her. There must be a reason for this unexpected emotion. Miss Wood! Was there also something that made you feel happy? What? Cough. Mr. Right, the feeling of happiness is throughout Juni's heart. Fine, and I bet Juni will start to calm down. Great, let's hear what she has to say. And uh, just as I was about to escape the call room, the bomb went out. I was so startled, I tripped. And then Rose started falling on top of me. I really thought I was done for. But just then, Apollo came and rescued me. Oh! Woo so we have a couple here, huh? Apollo? He used his own body to shield me from the rubble. Remember that, guys, if you want to impress a girl and have her heart, just use your body as a shield and receive all the damage. And probably get killed in the process, and you will get the girl. Just for a couple of minutes, and then you will die. How do you feel, Jenny? Thinking about Paul will give you some courage? Strong and bright and warm. Talking about him makes me feel like I lived undergoing photosynthesis. Oh, wow. And see you coughing stuff all of a sudden. Oh, you're right. Thank you, Tina. 50. Wait, 50? Shouldn't be already out of everything? Looks like we're able to draw out some new testimony. Pretty neat, huh? But there is still some noise left, meaning there must still be some disco in Junis Hall. Hmm. I guess we have to keep going then. Mission and update the mood matrix and we'll be good to go. You remember what to do, right? When I find the unexpected emotion, I should touch the pinpoint. That's right, and then you tap the unexpected emotion from the mood market. So for the Discord in her heart, be able to draw even more new testimony out. Hey, wait a minute. I thought you like Apollo, so why are you crying? Hmm. Te tengo! So you were happy when Mr. Justice rescued you, weren't you? Ah, that's so adorable. Yes, I was really happy. But, was there also something you felt sad about at the same time? Sad? The reason I ask is, when you were describing how you were rescued, we sense a little sadness too. Oh! I think it's probably because of Bone Run Rhymey. What? Bone Run Rhymey? Well, do you know something new? That's right. I... I brought my stuffed animal, Don't Wrap Rhymey, to watch the trial with me. Wait, how old are you again? Who knew that the legal world could inspire a whole line of merchandise? I had Don't Wrap Rhymey with me while I was watching the trial. But it wasn't until Apollo saved me that I realized I lost him. As I was running away. My poor Rhyme, a victim of that terrible bomb. Oh, I know, you can see what he looks like. Isn't his pastor? No more bombs, Rams. 
is for the campaign of eradicate fake evidence and false charges. Funny Fampy and Bomb Rap Rhyme, huh? Nothing against the campaign, but why an elephant and a rhinoceros? Mr. Rye, I don't sense any disco in Genius Hall anymore. Oh, wait, what? That was the answer? Oh my god, I was just bluffing there. So I guess that means we managed to draw out all of her testimony. That's right. I'll just make an update with the new info and we'll have the whole picture. So do you think her new testimony will help? Absolutely. I don't know what I would done without you, Athena. And he was in the car when the bomb went off. Hey, wait, 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 wait. The mental note? Number three? The tail? Oh, wait, that was number two. Yeah, that was number two, the tail. So now there is an answer about the fingerprint. An account of three guys. We'll say in Spanish. One, two, three. Objeción. Miss Wood, I know this trial has been very hard for you, but you can relax now. You are, without a doubt, innocent. Mr. Wright, what wild assertion are you making now? My wild assertion is simple this. The two stuffed animals were mixed up. The tail of the defendant fingerprint were found on wasn't that funny fancy. Oh, it was funny fancy, okay. It was the tail of her gay companion, Don't Rap Rhyme! What? What nonsense is that? I can see they're both stuffed animals, yes, but they complete different characters. An elephant and a rhino? They are as distinct as the defense and lawyers and the prosecutor. But are they really so different? Both defense lawyers and prosecutors try to protect the peace through law. Even elephant and rhino have some similar characteristics. They're both gray, for example. Anyway, this poster is all I need to prove my assertion to be true. If I may direct call attention here, you clearly see how the two got mixed up. Well, hello! Take that means... Tomala! One, two, three! Tomala! Well, would you look at that? The two tails are exactly the same! Yes, exactly! The two stuffed animals are based on the entirely different animals, but the design of the tails is exactly the same! <laughs> I knew you were wearing a wig, dude! Order! Order in the court! As long as the possibility exists, that trial belongs to Bomb Rap Rhyme. We can no longer consider to be decisive proof that the defendant handled the bomb. As things stand, I consider the charge against the accused unsubstant- Sorry, again, my English is rough, so... We just bought sometimes. Let's say it like that. We just bought sometimes. Uh, yes, of course, you wanna. Woo! Oh my god! Oh my god, thank god I remember that I always have mental notes on my head. Oh my god, this is so crazy, guys. This new technique of Athena is going to help us win this game. Okay, now it's time to bring the robot dude. Very well. Let us recombine tomorrow. Wait, what? This is the first episode, right? Usually, in the first episode, it's only one trial. And only, like, no continuous or no episode. It's like, keep going. Where are you, Apollo? Call Silver for today. Where are you, dude? Time to go home. We can get some pizza. What? What happened? What? Oh no. Oh no 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 no. No! Apollo! Don't do this to us! Ay Apollo, no te cansas de cagarla? Don't you have to be stupid somewhere else?